Hello, Julio. How are you? Hello, teacher. I I am very very good. See, a little strange, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's better, no background. Mm -hmm. And let's see, there we go. I think that's better. What did you do today, Julio? Mm. Uh, no, no entiendo la pregunta. No problem. I put in the chat, one moment, one moment. Maybe let's see if you understand. Okay. okay. The, um, I am very, very sad. 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 Uh, uh, is for my my work. Mm -hmm. Is it is very very expensive the uh, the, the the days. Ah, okay. It, very expensive the the money. Very expensive. Ah, okay. Is that the work is expensive? Exactly. Mm, okay. And Julio, what is your job? Uh, I'm a salesman. For La Constancia, right? La Constancia. Yeah, yeah. And it's difficult, the job? It is very difficult. Yes. Yes. Mm. I, I think, no, it's not difficult. Don't I think, mean, no, air, people uh, drink Pilsener, people drink Coca-Cola, people, ah, it's not difficult. No, it's <laughs> uh, other, other problems in, in, in action, uh, the work. Okay. Okay. So difficult, a little difficult. Okay. Very difficult. And December much, and it's December not, is difficult. Uh, very much. It's too much difficult now for uh, the the world. We have new programs for for take the 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 pedidos. I don't know what is uh, orders. Orders, okay. When when Boris. you take orders, uh, uh, it's more more problem now. This is difficult. Uh, it's a new program. Felipe. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a new program. Two program new. One program for 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 we, and one program new for for the people shopping. Mm -hmm. El the 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 new program is the um, in the um. In the yeah. app, right? And I see an Instagram. It's a uh, uh, no, no pedidos. Yeah, it's it's something like like uh, this is the new this. the new program. I, I don't remember the name, but I I saw that uh, uh, I don't remember a domicilio. I I forgot the name. I forgot Eladas. the name. Eladas huh? Express. Eladas Express. Eladas Express. That's it. That's it. Eladas <laughs> Express. But this, this but this is no problem for we. The problem, oh, no problem is more no this is is more easy the problem is is more for what you go for the store the people take new programs these people take the the coca-cola pilsner in in the phone oh. you teach you teach you teach me you teach the people user this program this is difficult Okay. This is this is the problem then, huh? Yeah. Ah, okay. 
but only in this moment because it's new then it's going to be okay yeah brother this program uh, we the, the the world have three the country uh, three areas mm -hmm. uh, Oriente, Occidente y Central. Oriente y Occidente ya empezaron con el programa. Ah, okay. Central is, is new for, for now. And, and you don't like the program? We don't like program. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's bad for the program, huh? Yeah, it's bad. This program is for no more work for, for we. Ah. No, really? Today, no, not, not next month. But no, 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 but it's the idea. The idea is uh, the, the customer order online. Yeah. Mm. It's like in La, la Despensa Familiar. Yeah. Because in La Despensa Familiar, do you see? The idea now implement the scan, the, the customer scan, not the person. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's similar. Mm -hmm. But no, the, I don't know. I think the Salvadorians don't like because mm -hmm. you look at McDonald's, McDonald's have the, the, the customer, the touch, but the people not prefer, they prefer to go to the customer. They prefer the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe no worrying in this country uh-huh because imagine imagine mcdonald's uh the spencer many people choose to to reduce the cost but no the salvadorian no 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 i want the person i want the person no computer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's more uh, it's more easy Yes, for, for the, the company is good, is good, the, the app is good, the internet. Uh, app, uh -huh, but the customer, no, nah, no, no, I don't like. And uh, we, no, not, don't like uh -huh. the, 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 the new, the new program. It's good. Don't worry, the new program. You continue your job. It's okay. Because today the topic, the topic is the jobs. Topic is these topic. activities. Okay. So today we begin unit three. And unit three is the vocabulary for jobs and activities. The different jobs. Okay. So let's listen and watch the video. Put the microphone on silence. Put the microphone in mute so that we can listen. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. This class, you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five, she's a flight attendant. Six, he's a musician. Seven, she's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. 
She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, okay. So the important is that we see the structures. Okay. The structure is the different activities. Different activities, for example, wears a uniform, sits, talks to people, all of these activities, right? If you look at the example, a doctor and then the activity. A doctor works hard. A doctor sits all day. A doctor stands all day. These are the activities. For the place is in. A doctor works in the location. A doctor works in a hospital. A cashier works in a store. A teacher works in a school. And then the activities. Is this okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. So remember, the idea is in for the place and only the action. Okay. We have activities only the S. Yes. All right, let's take a look. Here we have many jobs. Okay, here are the jobs that we have from the pictures. Lots of jobs. Okay, with the partner, you are going to look at the different jobs. Okay, that you have, and you are going to answer the question. Example number one. Here we have receptionist, doctor, and nurse. Ah, what's his job? Ah, and then we put the answer. He's a receptionist because the picture is the man, the man he, right? What's her job? Ah, the picture woman. So she's, she's a doctor. Okay, the picture nurse. Ah, what's her job? She's a nurse. So here we're going to answer first the questions. Make the sentence. What's their jobs? Okay. This is the activity 3.2. 3.2 in the platform. Only we write the activity. What are their professions? He is, she is, the different. It's okay? It's okay. All right, let's go. This is an activity. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One. 
He's a receptionist. Two. She's a doctor. Three. She's a nurse. Four. He's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Number four, what's his job? He's a pilot. Good, he's a pilot, good. Number five, what's her job? She's a flight attendant. Good, pronunciation, flight attendant. Attending, ah, uh, okay. Flight attendant. Good, good. Repeat, please. Flight. Flight attendant. 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 Good. 
All right, number six. What's his job? He's a musician. Good, he's a musician. Seven, what's her job? She's a singer. Singer. Good, okay. Eight, what's her job? Eight. Judge. Good, pronunciation? Judge. 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 She's a judge. Yes. Number nine, what's his job? He's a police officer. Oh, yeah. Good, correct. He's a police officer. Police officer. Good, police officer. Mm -hmm. Number 10, what's his job? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Good, only pronunciation? Lawyer. 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 Good, good, good. Lawyer. Number 11, okay, what's his job? He's a chef. He's a chef. He's a, chef. Okay. He's a cook. He's a cook. Correct. The two are correct. Mm -hmm. Number 12. What's his job? He's a waiter. Good. Correct pronunciation. He's a waiter. And number 13. What's her job? She's a waiter. She's a waitress. Good pronunciation. Waitress. 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 Mm -hmm. waitress. Number 12. Number 12. Waiter. 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 Number 13, waitress. 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 Okay. okay. Good. All right. Number 14. Okay. What's his job? He's a salesperson. Correct. He's a salesperson. Good. Perfect. Number 15. What's her job? She's a cashier. Correct. She's a cashier. She's a cashier. cashier. Mm-hmm. Number 16, what's her job? Security work. She is a security work. Okay, pronunciation? Security? Security. security. Guard. Security guard. 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 Mm -hmm. So she's security a security guard. guard. Security guard. All right, very good, excellent. Those are the answers for those. Okay, good. Now we're going to look at yes. Una consulta la diferencia entre salesperson and salesman. Ah, eh, unisexo y solo para hombres. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, salesperson, okay. unisexo, salesman, solo hombres, saleswoman, solo mujeres. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks. You're welcome. Now we're going to look and learn how to make WH questions. WH son las preguntas de que llevan la letra, no que empiezan necesariamente, solo que llevan estas en las preguntas. WH, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿por qué es la diferencia de WH y do or does? Do or does son las preguntas que hemos hablado anteriormente que solo es sí o no, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo le digo a, a Ulises, Ulises, do you work? ¿Qué me contesta Ulises? Do you work? No, I don't. No, I don't. Está bien. O oh, si él trabaja, me dice, yes, I do. ¿Verdad? I do. Ok. José, do you study English? Yeah, I know. No, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Jorge, do you work in La Constancia? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Si se fijan, yo empiezo la pregunta con do. Significa que la respuesta es con do. Esa es la forma más fácil. Si yo pregunto o yo empiezo la pregunta con el verbo be, am, is, are, la respuesta va a ser con el verbo be. Ok. So, por, por ejemplo, yo digo a Roberto. Ok, Roberto. Ok. Are you, are you happy? Are you happy, Roberto? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Verbo be, verbo be. 
Okay. Yo le digo a Julio, Julio, do you, do you drive? Do you drive, Julio? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Eso es lo más sencillo, ¿verdad? La técnica para que cuando no estás seguro, solo escucha esa primera palabra, te va a indicar qué vas a contestar. Do, does, um, is, siempre. Ahora, hoy vamos a ver WH, porque WH es una pregunta abierta. Abierta. Tenemos aquí where, what, ok. ¿Qué significaba where? Where, donde. Donde, excelente. And what? ¿Qué? ¿Cuál? ¿Qué? ¿Cuál? ¿O qué? O, o, uh -huh. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? What do you do? ¿Qué? Ok. So, eh, pongamos el micrófono en silencio y vamos a escuchar y ver el video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. Mm -hmm. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. Okay. So, the idea is here, okay, cuando uno lo aprende a hablar, Correctamente es, what do you do? O sea, cada uno suena. What do you do? Cuando escuchan a los nativos, normalmente estas dos palabras las dicen juntos. What do you do? What does he do? No dicen, what does he do? What do they do? No, what do they do? What does he do? What do you do? Ok. Eso es la idea de este, que, que escuchen cómo suena cuando lo dicen Alguien nativo, ah, lo unen. El sonido se escucha unido, pero se escribe, what do you do? ¿Ok? This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does, so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Ok. Escuchan como la diferencia cuando, como lo pronuncian unido comparado con como lo pronuncian separados? Correcto. Ok. Uh, ok. Ahora, acuérdense, las dos formas están correctas, solo que normalmente eh, los americanos traten de, así como nosotros, eh, ya con un habla normal, ni, se, ni siente, ni sabe cuando va uniendo las, pasa, las palabras. De repente la S ya se convierte en X, de repente este sonido ya no aparece, ya la H desaparece de la, de la palabra, ¿verdad? Pero no entendemos. Okay. Y eso es la idea, que, que cuando escuchen a alguien hablar así, que van a entender lo que están diciendo. 
that's it. Okay. Let's continue then. Okay. ¿Hay alguna que, eh, que no están seguro o, o alguna pregunta de, de una de estas? Clear. Clear. Ok. En el caso de las copias, averiguo qué quieren decir. <laughs> okay, I'll say. Okay, good, good. All right. Now we're going to practice using using this tense. This is the idea. Now we're practice using the WH. Okay. Here, let's look at the conversations and the questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which. José, creo que tu micrófono eh, está encendido o, o hay sonido a, alrededor de vos que se escucha bien. Thank you, José. Thank you. Illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples. Okay. First, let's look at the conversation. Okay. In the conversation, any vocabulary or questions you don't understand? Alguna palabra o pregunta de la conversación? Um, uh, there's this agent. Ah, okay. The front desk agent, front desk agent, son en el hotel la primera persona, la persona que te reciben ahí en el, en el lobby. Esos son los front desk agent. Front desk. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. The other vocabulary is okay? Clear. Okay, good. Now we're going to look at the idea how to make WH questions. Si vemos, tenemos tres tipos. Where, what, and how. Okay. ¿Qué significaba where? Donde. Donde. Excellent. What? Que. Eh. Okay. Que. ¿Y qué significa how? ¿Cuándo? No, no cuándo. ¿Cómo? 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 Exacto. Ok. Si nos fijamos, tenemos las mismas reglas. He, she, it. He, she, it va a llevar does. ¿Verdad? Does. He, she, it. Los otros, I, you, we, they, van a llevar do. Ok. O sea, que siempre vamos a llevar el auxiliar. Es where do, ok, or what do, or how do. Si es he, she, it, lo vamos a cambiar para where does, what does, or how does. Ok. Entonces, vamos a hacer estas preguntas. Where do you work? Ah, ok. Estamos preguntando el lugar, ¿va? Entonces, aquí vamos a poner, ah, I work in a hospital. Ok. Or... The short answer, in a hospital. For example, I say, where do you work? Ah, in La Constancia. Or, I work in La Constancia. Okay. What do you do? Ah, I'm, I'm, y con lo que hacen allí. I'm a driver. I'm a, I'm a sales agent. I'm lo que sea que hacen allí en La Constancia, right? Después, sales man. I'm a salesman. Good. I'm a salesman. Exacto. Or uh, I'm a manager or I'm an accountant. Lo que sea. Después hay, how do you like it? 
How do you like it? Ah, es ¿qué te parece el trabajo? Okay. ¿Qué tal te gusta? Ese es how do you like it? Eso es lo que están preguntando. Y hay diferentes formas de contestar. I really like it. Estos son positivo, ¿verdad? Muy bien. It's okay. Mm, más o menos. It's a... And then they hate it. Ah, lo odian. They hate it. Hate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y lo mismo. Ahí uno puede cambiar la respuesta de acuerdo a cómo te sentís. Hey, how do you like it? Oh, I love it. Ah, uh, I hate it. Oh, it's okay. Ah, uh, it's so so. Okay. Y así vas. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Okay, good, good. Entonces, vamos a hacer esas cosas. Primero, vamos a seguir viendo el video para ver unas partes. Venga, let's see. This is the questions for the pronunciation. Okay. ¿Cómo hacemos WH question? WH word. Do or does. Subject, verb y complement. Son la estructura, si se fijan. Los tres son la misma estructura. Solo cambian el verbo o la persona, ¿verdad? El auxiliar. WH word, where, what, or how. El do or does, dependiendo de la persona. Do or does. The subject, quién. He, you, she, they, eso. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like, do, work. Y después el complemento. Okay. The question is the same. Okay. And then we have the answers. The answers, the same thing. Okay. Vamos a ver aquí. Where do you work? Where does he work? Dependiendo si estamos preguntando directo a alguien o sobre alguien. Okay. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. Uno, vamos a practicar la conversación. Right? Rachel, Angela, then Angela and Rachel. Eso es número uno. Número dos, vamos a preguntar al compañero y a responder todas las preguntas. Entonces, a mi compañero le voy a preguntar, where do you work? Ah, what do you do? How do you like it? Y le voy a preguntar de alguien más. Ese es, where does he work? Where does she work? How does she like it? ¿De quién podemos preguntar? Podemos preguntar de el esposo, la esposa. Bueno, en este caso, solo la esposa, ¿verdad? Porque todos aquí están... No, no hay mujeres en este grupo, así que <ríe> solo de la esposa, la novia, la mamá, lo, el papá, lo que sea. Pueden ser, ah, oh, what does he do? Where does he work? Where does she work? Lo que sea, ¿ok? Y así vamos a hacer todas las preguntas. Entonces, van a ser nueve preguntas, porque ahí hay nueve que vemos, y van a hacer la conversación. Si no están claros, ahí también está en el chat, ¿verdad? Ok. Any questions? No. No? Okay. Excellent. So, conversation, questions, and answers. Conversation, question, answers. Exactly. Okay. Let's try one more time. you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. 
He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, it's okay? It's okay. All right, let's see. Okay. Felipe, Roberto, give me the example. Uh, the simple present? The question, uh -huh. the question and the answers. Okay. Robert, uh, where do you work? Roberto. I work in La Constancia. What do you what do you do? I am uh, a salen, salesman. How do you like it? I really like it. Okay, good job. Good job, Felipe. Good job, Roberto. Good. All right. Now, Jose and Ulysses, give me the example. <laughs> Ahí vamos. Ah, pero que verla. Ulises. ¿Sí? ¿Vos vas a preguntar o yo? Hacer la... No, vos vas a preguntar, la... dice. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Entonces yo te pregunto y vos vas a contestar lo que hicimos. Pa. Cabal, cabal. Where do you work? Uh, I, I work in the La Constancia. Oh. 
What do you do? In the constancia. What do you do? Eh, eh, sales HM. Oh. How do you like? Uh, I really like it. Okay. okay. Very good. More or less, more or less. Okay. Eh, solo vamos a corregir algunas pronunciaciones para estar seguro. Okay. Entonces, okay. The first one, okay. Hi, everyone. La, this class. la primera pregunta, la, la debería ser, la pronunciación es, where do you work? Work. 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 Con una K fuerte. Where do you work? Work. Work. Where do you work? Okay. El, how do you like? Se te olvidó la palabra it. How do you like it? How do you like it? Okay. Correct, correct. Okay. Releases, how do you like it? I really like it. Pero no e, it. I really like it. It. Exactly. I really, I really like, like it. it. Okay, good. Okay. And what do you do? Sales uh, agent. Sales. Sales. Agent. Agent. Okay. okay. Sales agent. Correct, Ulysses. Correct. Okay. Good. That's better. Good job, Jose. Good job, Ulysses. All right. Let me listen. Julio and Salvador. Okay. Um, where, where do you work? Uh, I work in a Constancia. Uh, what did you do? I'm a salesman. Okay. How do you like it? I really like it. Okay, good job, good job, nice. Okay, good. All right, now Jorge and Neftali. Okay, come on. Where do you work? Hello. Where do you work, Neftali? No. <laughs> I work uh, in La Constancia. What do you do? I am Sales, agent. Oh, oh, agent, see, agent. Agent, agent, sales agent. Agent. Mm -hmm. agent. How, do you, how do you like it? I really like it. Okay, muy bien, pero al final lo vamos a hacer más fluido. I really like it. I really like it. Correct. It's very nice. good, very good, Jorge. Very good, Naftali. Excellent. Okay. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a poner en práctica todo lo que hemos visto y van a crear, crear su propia conversación con el compañero para poder presentarla después a toda la clase. Por ejemplo, lo que esperamos. Hello, how are you, Roberto? Y Roberto va a decir, I'm fine. And you, Julio, how are you? Good. Hey, Roberto, where do you work? And Queremos que se vea ya natural. What do you do? Ah, y, ah, tenés un nuevo trabajo. Ah, perfecto. Where do you live? Ah, oh, I live in a house. I live in an apartment. Oh, ok. Do you have a micro? Queremos ver que utilicen lo que hemos ido aprendiendo desde la semana pasada. Ok. No solo es, what do you do? I, I'm a sales agent. Uh, where do you work? No, es una conversación, no es una entrevista, ¿verdad? Ya tienen el puesto, ya no se lo van a quitar, ¿va? Entonces, solo es la entrevista, ya, ya estuvo, solo es conversación. Yes? Okay. Te veo medio nervioso, Jorge. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Yes? Come <risa> <risa> ahí, ahí vamos, vamos, ahí lo vamos a hacer. Ok. We got it. You got okay. it, you got it. Excellent, excellent. Así que eso es. Ahora ustedes van a crear toda la conversación. Traten de utilizar todo lo que hemos visto. Les voy a dar seis minutos y en seis minutos 
más que suficiente tiempo para practicar, repasar y ver la unidad 1 y 2 y lo que hemos visto hoy para que lo pongan en práctica. Voy a ver cinco dólares. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 
Four. He's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Additionally, you'll also practice. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, ready. This is now six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Ready. Excellent. Okay, Jorge, Neftali, you are number one. Me imagine, démosle. Come on. Masacre. Okay. Hello, Neftali. How are you? Hi. Hi, Jorge. Fine, thank you. Where do you work? Uh, I work I work in the Constancia. And you? Really? Me too. And how do you like it? It's okay. Oh, fine, okay. I love it. Le vamos a dar chance a los otros ya. Ah, <risa> antes que los vayan, ya lo impresionamos. Ah. <risa> ok, ok. All right, Jorge, Neftali, good. Good idea. Ya más natural, ya más conversación. Es good, good job, good job. All right. Ok. Hey, Julio, ¿quién era tu compañero? Que veo que desapareció. Eh, apareció Salvador. Salvador. Desapareció, se, se, se escapó Julio. Ah, se, se, se me salió. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Hubo pálida, se salió. Ajá, ajá. Ok, all right. Run, Vamos. Salvador, run. Run. Let's try José en Ulises, then. José en Ulises. Era una salida más olímpica. Se fue el Inter. Y se marchó. Vaya, bueno, vamos pues, José. Este chip es buzo, unas conversaciones que se crea rapidito. Ahí vamos, chip, démosle. Espérate, voy a buscarla. Ay, le vamos a dar chance a otro, a otra parejita. Dale, dale, dale chance a ustedes mismos, dale. Lo que pasa es que tuvimos problemas con los micrófonos ahí y no los entendíamos. Ya igual que Salvador, va, ya de repente ya no le funcionó. Sí. <risa> Vaya, chipi, voy. Que Ulises estaba hablando con el micrófono en New. Entonces, y yo voy a hablar y. <risa> démosle, chipi, démosle. Espérate, pues vamos a buscarla. Vamos a ver dónde está. Ahí se la inventen, no se preocupen. Ahorita Chippy. Inventado, inventado. Se sí. bien. Hello, how are you, Lizzie? <laughs> Excuse me, do you work here? Sí. Seguí, Chippy. Lo que notaste. <laughs> Te voy a preguntar de nuevo. Excuse me, do you work here? <laughs> No lo voy a notar nada. 
Next, next, next. <laughs> ah, Jose Ulises. Ah, Jose. Okay, okay. We go to the next. We go to the next. Ya, ya vamos a regresar. Uh, se aprende, pero se divierte aquí. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Felipe, Roberto. All right. Felipe, Roberto. Hey. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Felipe. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Fine. Thank you. Where do you work, Roberto? I work in La Constancia. Me too. Uh, how do you get to work now? Yeah, I, I drive to work every day. Okay. I drive to, to work my work and every day. Um, uh, where do you weekend? Finish, finish. Ahí está. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, good job. Good job. All right. Felipe Roberto, good job too. Okay. Y eso es lo importante, no tener temor. ¿Se van a equivocar? Claro. Eh, a veces no lo dicen bien. Por supuesto. Pero que pueden hablar. ¿Quién dice que no? ¿Eh? Eso es lo más importante. Ir agarrando esa confianza de, ok, tal vez no es perfecto, no soy nativo. Pero es que no son nativos. O sea, nadie espera que sean nativos. Esperan de que empiezan a comunicarse. ¿Ok? What do you do? How are you? Porque eso es lo básico, ¿verdad? Conocemos a cualquier persona. Cualquier persona. Hey, what's your name? What do you do? How are you? Ok. How do you like it? Y eso es lo normal. Y así tenemos que ir agarrando confianza para poder hablar más y más. Ok. Vamos a darle un chance a, José, a Ulises y José una vez más. A ver, ya con todo. Ya afinaron. <risa> ya copiaron, dijimos. Vaya. <risa> una, una corta, hombre. Vaya. Comenzamos, pues. Sí, comiencen. <risa> Vaya, pues, Ulises. Hello. Yo te voy a hacer las preguntas porque vos sos más bueno para contestar. <risa> A saber que me va a preguntar. ¿De dónde se la sacó? Hey, no, hombre, ni hemos interactuado, Chipi. Espérate. Hello. Hello, Ulisa. How are you? Hello. Ya, ya va Ulises, ya va Ulises, mírenlo, mírenlo. Ah, ya no me Ay, el micrófono. Dios, Ay, el micrófono está apagado. Ah, no sé qué le pasó, teacher. No wrong, sé Ulises, wrong. No, hombre. <risa> Se apagó el teléfono, déjalo. Está bien, está bien. No se pongan nerviosos, tranquilo. Mañana continuamos y los primeros mañana, José y Ulises, a dar una buena presentación. ¿Qué les parece? La vamos a la hacer, la vamos a hacer. Sí. Yeah. Vamos a hacer. Prepárense. Vamos. Prepárense, eso, eso. Mañana continuamos con unidad 3, unit 3, tomorrow, ¿ok? Ok. All yeah. right, thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.